Hello and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And that I just woke up from being dead. To be trained first. I've got my uh, Therefore, guardian Kami here to, you, to, to catch me up to date, and to uh, as you can Kami. see by my halo, I'm hmm, uh, I see. So you Piccolo has killed me. And subject him to the grueling 625,000 mile long snake way so he can meet King Kai. Wow. Indeed. So if, well. if King Yama isn't as strong as King Kai, and King Kai, didn't he say he couldn't take on the Saiyans? So he would be like maybe as strong as Nappa, Max. And King Yama said he's stronger than Raditz. So there must be one heck of a journey. Yama is probably about 2,000. King Kai would be... Come through here? Three yes. or 4,000 tops. Down for hell, of course. Did he put up much of Ballpark a numbers because Raditz's sure power did. level is about 1,200. So, or 1,500. Sorted him out. Whoa! You must be one heck of a strong guy! So and I think even Popo... They said Popo's power level was like, there's one where it shows it like two or three thousand, I think, stronger than Raditz. Maybe it was four hundred, but I wouldn't doubt it if. Just imagine Popo just dominating Nappa, bending his arm backwards, kick him away. Nappa shoots a mouth blast out his mouth, and then Popo. Absorbs the mouth blast with his mouth Like he ate the Kamehameha That one time He's kind of like uh, Boo He's more like Boo Than uh He's definitely not human Kami is okay but we, we all know the real reason that uh, we look forward to the lookout scenes. We all know. Mr. Popo. Where was Raditz sent? Hmm. He went around village he, uh, villages. He went around different planets. Exterminating life on them. Not just genocide. Like exterminating all life. Right. Except maybe plants that could barely survive. Who is more powerful, King Yama or Kami? Hmm. Correct. Of course I am. Are we talking about I the King Yama from Yu Yu Hakusho? Isn't that right, Kami? Ah, Same yes, answer, I guess. You are more Probably. powerful. Right. Next question. Who is judged here after death? Everyone. That's right. No, like That's right, brother. everyone. He, he was in the ring. Yeah, next. Is there a way to bring back those who already died? Yes, they're called Dragon Balls. Not bad. By the way, that was question four. Care to shed some light on that, Kami? Oh. Um, later on they explain uh, the, the Super Dragon Ball Super. They uh, chip the Super Dragon Balls. They chip chunks of it, and then those little ones become Dragon Ball. I don't know. It wasn't me. Right now it's me, though. Damn it. Which question is this? Five. Nice try. What is this? The tuning exams in Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Boruto? Said the full title, ironically, because it's so fucking long. Yeah, Sai asks you questions about the hidden leaf history. I will allow you. Wow, really? Don't tell me you for No 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 no, Mr. I'm King Yama, I haven't That's more like it. If you're going to see King Kai, then go. Okay. Well, this is where we part ways. Good luck. So on the back of his sign on the desk it says really sure closed, but then on the front of it it's all Kai. Japanese. The hell? Oh boy, soul emblems. Meanwhile, in the wastelands, Piccolo and Gohan 
were starting their extreme training regimen. Time to wake up, kid. You've slept long enough. Actually, they don't start training yet. More like the Hunger Games. Time for a reality check. Your daddy is dead, okay? It's like when Goku, he when he was 12 to 15, he set off on his own to go God. explore the world off screen. What? And became what? a little more muscular and a little slimmer and fought Tien. <laughs> Except, Gohan is four years old. Able to find the Dragon Balls. They can bring him back. However, we've got other things to deal with. And he doesn't really travel that much. He kind of just gets abandoned rats. and he stays Sounds on the like same two of his buddies to wasteland a year from now. the whole time. Unless you watch some filler and then he visits That's a really village and then he goes Your back home and, and sees mom but then turns around before he's spotted. And then he meets, he meets that robot. Your power. You're going to have to learn to fight and defend the earth. I think uh, in terms of... Z filler, the Saiyan Saga has the best. There's some good filler in the Cell Saga, though. And I'm sure Boo, a lot of that is just filler. And without even me realizing it, I bet. I gotta read it and then watch it and then go, oh shit, that's not even in the manga. Like, that happens all the time. So, you're gonna train me? Okay, what do I have to do? You have to live out here on your own, without distraction. I'm giving you six hmm. months. If you're able to survive for that long... The first time I played through this, I just realized, uh... I just remembered I had a problem, uh... As soon as you're Gohan and you take ten steps, and you go towards the where the game wants you to go... Before the cutscene of the dinosaur, my game would keep crashing. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to save right now. Yes, this is this is as far as I got on a file and I literally rage quit. Okay, so it's auto saving. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm going to turn around the corner and then the game is going to either just work with me or do something terrible. Stop whining. Gohan does, well, he he whines a realistic amount, but it's, shut up. I'm all alone. He turns, he goes from Kobe to, well, I guess he does kind of have a Kobe. No, it's way different. He just wants to study, be a bug doctor, bug scientist, entomologist. Or end with a D. Woo! It's from the opening. Chala, head chala. That kid's gonna get eaten by a dinosaur. He's gonna get fucked up. Uh oh. Oh no, he's summoning the Chi Chi DNA. Chi Chi's injured. Oh, I thought he was gonna. For some reason, I thought he was gonna attack the dinosaur. He does later on with a sword. On just its tail, though. Cuts off slices of meat patties from its tail. That poor thing. How's it going to walk around and balance? I thought he was going to summon his Chi-Chi DNA. Because the first scene of her is she cuts off she cuts off the T-Rex head. And then looks and gets freaked out by it. And then blows it up with a beam she shoots from her head. And blows it up. When she was like 12. She's, she's Goku's age, I think. Okay. See how Gohan is doing. Alrighty. But uh, Piccolo is going to be one of the characters that we are going to use all the time. So I might check out one of these. I'll check out this one. I'm going to check out the training. Because as soon as we're able to... As soon as we're a high enough level. The great piccolo reduced to this. Probably up here. Alright, training. Nope. Nothing. Nothing nothing at all. Okay. 
Oh, goody. Special beam cannon. I knew I was going to forget something. And let's make that my triangle. What, uh, what was the other one? Demon? Okay. Alright. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to Chala, head chala. I'm breaking all these rocks with my head. I'm gonna find a magic surprise. Let the wind take you like a kite and fly into mountains. Uh. <laughs> what the hell are wait, is this things? filler content? Kids probably guess I'll have to take care of them. I uh, guess I'll take care of them for the kid. Uh, it's kind of filler, cause obviously, Piccolo didn't fight pirate robot from Dragon Ball. With random enemies like this that don't even have a name, uh, you, I don't even go Super Saiyan in the later on when everyone has this Super Saiyan. Hold on. Oh, there's two more battles. Okay. Yeah, we're going to dominate these ones. Fast forward. Okay, let's go for a Taijutsu battle. I neither have Ninjutsu or Genjutsu. And I will be... I will be invited by the Z Fighters anyway. And fight for Earth with Krillin. And Tien, my fellow humans. Okay, Mike Guy, I truly believe there's no way in hell Raditz could be Eighth Gate Guy. He's so strong. I'm, I'm, because he's powerful. He's as powerful as characters that have the Ten Tails inside them. So, and that's like the Earth fucking shakes. So, like, I, I. Nappa would probably be, uh, you know. How many more of these things are there? But probably not Raditz. Eight gate guy? Yeah, I don't know. Then again, Naruto characters, on average, are like 20 times smarter than the average Z fighter, so there's also that. I mean, a Naruto character versus a DBZ character, if they have the same, let's say they're the same level, same same stats, same power level, the Naruto character outsmarts them every single time, and if, if they use strategy, they win every single time. As long as it's a competent Naruto character. Any Anyone like a Jonin. I bet a, I bet, uh, no, yeah, what what would Raditz be? How strong is Raditz if you Hopefully Raditz versus the five Kage? They could take him out. Even if it's the five average Kage. Not even like Hashirama. Hashirama and Minato would fodderize Raditz. It wouldn't even be funny. They would they would use their brain and figure out how to destroy Nappa. It, and it wouldn't Nappa is like a fucking ten tails Jinchuriki. Wouldn't be easy, but they'd figure it out. Napa would be like the strength of Looks like Obito or Madara when they absorbed here. the Jubi. Oh well. The strength of that, except extremely uh, intelligent. Okay, I need some apples. Wait, what did I say? Intelligent? No, I mean Napa would be extremely dumb, silly me. Dude, I just need one more apple. Where the fuck is it? It's like the faster I go, the longer it takes me because I'm so impatient. I can't. Now where can I find some? I keep thinking I see red oh, apples right, in the tree. There we go. Still didn't even see it. Okay, I can just cut that out anyway. To be a real pain in my neck. Stupid RPG quests. I was just thinking about how fun. Uh, <laughs> Namek's going to be without all those cutscenes. Two minute cutscenes? I am exaggerating. When I was editing them out, I noticed that they were 45, 50 seconds. But still, come on. That's just enough time for me to be like, 
Okay, I just want to reach for my phone every time, but if it's not the second time I reached for it, I'm just spending the 40 seconds looking for it, reaching it, opening it up, then the game starts kind of thing. It's like just enough time for that. This is one of those games where if I'm playing it, when I was playing it by myself, I played up to sell. I was just listening to all my podcasts most of the time. Okay. That wasn't really a transformation, but oh yeah, you can freaking fight giant apes. Yeah, ever since, what was it, Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Z, which was like... So if there's a Xenoverse trilogy, Battle of Z was Xenoverse number zero. And then the other two make the trilogy. Okay. I'm sorry to do this, Gohan. Special Beam Cannon won't kill you, it's just a game. Uh, I just need to get your HP down. But if I did Special Beam Cannon in the show... No, I bet Great Ape Gohan would be able to tank it, actually, yeah. So, when Gohan's pissed off, he went up to 700. And didn't he go over 1,000? So, he could go from 7,000 to 10,000? Because it's times 10. And that's definitely stronger than Piccolo. Because that's like base base Nappa is... Wasn't he 4,000 and then he powered up to 6 or 7,000 or something? And he was, he was a little bit below 8,000 because Goku was over 8,000. Oh yeah, this is the best move in the whole game. This easily does the most damage, especially to giant enemies, so I'm just going to do this a couple times now. I tried punching and kicking. And it uses none of my key. Surprisingly no key, it's very accurate, and it seems to just work the best. Get the most amount of damage done quickly. I could try to punch him though. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. Got him. I remember that being a lot harder last time. I ended up having to use, um, yeah, energy blasts. I'm a fire in my laser. Oh! What the hell's going on? He's berserk. There won't be any earth to protect if this keeps up. He can turn into a giant monster too. This is when Piccolo's like, I vow to never turn into a giant ever again. The full moon. The fucking Saiyans get to have every form, every color, every size. Wow. The light would have taken four seconds to get to the moon, so that's an extremely OP feat from Piccolo. The power scaling community commends and applauses Piccolo and sucks him off. They wish he had a pickle. Gohan, how did your pants stay? The fuck? Oh, clothes beam. Piccolo was quickly like, Clothes beam. Snipe. He can snipe you from across like the battlefield with, with clothes beam. So it's like Better get rid of it you're now. running, ready ready for war, and now pew! You're, you're in a dress and heels. <laughs> Damn it! My own to get to. Is this clown out. not taking me seriously? Vegeta taking off his heels and like wiping off the lipstick. <laughs> How does he make makeup? You're gonna wish you'd never been How did he put my hair in a ponytail? Hope you're ready. I'll get that, Namek. Whoa. Only we can call each other that. That was an extremely pretty 
I was going to say before that cutscene rudely interrupted. Back when Goku was talking about Piccolo Jr., it was raining in the manga and in the anime, and the game, it was just normally sunny. But the start of that same DLC, there was a cutscene where it was raining. So I was just going to say, it sucks that it's 90% of the series, it's just sunny. And whenever we get a night scene or it's raining, I'm thinking in history of Trunks, it was raining. Whenever we get a scene like that, it's actually pretty rare. So that scene at night with all those stars, I really appreciated that. So, is this where we fight a dinosaur? Oh, Yajirobe. What's up, Yajirobe? I see you too have a sword, mister. That was a little bit close. Um, excuse me. What the? This is kind of filler. I wouldn't say filler, though. I'd say implied canon. This is a cool interaction. You're definitely related. Yajirobe meets Gohan before you, the big fight. Are you his kid or something? Yeah, my name's Gohan. Cool. I'm Yajirobe. You know, I thought you'd sound more like Goku, but you sound like Luffy. <clears throat> oh. uh. Man, must be pretty rough, huh? Having Piccolo on your back like that. I know the feeling. It's actually a sword. Piccolo won't get off mine. She kept going on and on about how you were kidnapped and needed help. So, you should learn how to fly, though. Anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone about the whole thing, so that's why I'm out here. Who lives on Kami's... Or, sorry. Who lives on Corrin's tower and know, doesn't I, fly? Kind of like, Corrin can float, right? I was starting to get worried. I was but if that's where you live, come on. Home, he already so fell out of it and slammed it in the ground once. Huh? So I guess that's how he knows that he's fine, I guess. Whatever. Uh, you're having some trouble getting food, huh? Getting down isn't the problem. Well, this meat here is mine, so I uh, can't just give it to you. Instead, I'll teach you how to hunt. Oh, so that's what you meant by help. Why don't you just steal my breakfast like your dad did, thief? <laughs> yeah, look, little dude. What the if heck? I just swoop in and take you back. Piccolo's gonna kill me. Yo, Goku actually did eat that so guy's anyway, fish, uh, and yeah. then just ignore the fact that he stole it from him. He's I'll like, it's my fish, I ate it. The fuck, host. Goku? So he's pure of heart because he's too stupid to notice when he's being an ass. I guess that's how it works. <laughs> like, okay, if Thor can pick that hammer up, he's pure of heart, right? And he's kind of an ass, too. Like, even after the first movie, he was still a little bit of a cocky fucking pretty boy, right? It's that kind of pure of heart. Okay, whoa. Well, now I have PTSD of my, uh... That was pathetic. Now I have PTSD of my game crashing. Can Gohan fly yet? Oh, that's actually cool. I'm glad I can't fly. Oh, I need deer. Okay. Sneak up on them? Why bother? That was easy. Woohoo! Oh, and I can't jump very high either. Cool. I bet Piccolo's gonna teach me how to fly soon. I like how I'm level 1 and I can't fly and I can't even jump high. That's the one thing RPGs can do. Really, um... Well... Make you role play. I mean, RPG Wait, means fucking role playing. Yeah. <laughs> See, the thing is, I'm actually training under Kami right now. If I don't head back soon, that green geezer's gonna flip his lid. So yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna split it. Oh, okay. Boom. Take it easy, squirt. Oh, is this when Gohan like um we one by one get cutscenes really of the thing. five humans I'm, I'm sure that are gonna go up to Kami's lookout to train for six months to a year? So Gohan spends six months in the wilderness and then six months with Piccolo. I'm pretty sure the humans do, I don't know how much time up there, but they eventually do leave the lookout and then go do their own thing, exploring the world. Awesome. What the? No way the Saiyans are here yet, but I'm sensing incredible power. Better go check it out. Better go check it out. This I smell filler. 
I'm trying to think of what this is right now. Goku can't possibly be back already. Mm, I don't know. There's no sign of the Dragon Balls having Lady Baba. Okay, so here's one. Let's just double check the uh, training though. Nope. Okay. All right. I'm gonna run there. <laughs> oh yeah, I I never run around with Piccolo. Look how weird it is with his big shoulders. <laughs> All right, where was I going? Oh, I missed it. Jesus. I'm going to fight. Sup, guys? Oh yeah, so it's not gonna be Gohan meeting everyone. It's gonna be. Piccolo. Gohan and Piccolo. Huh. So the power I sensed was from you. Looks <laughs> like you knew I was nearby. Not bad for a dead weight like you. You've got quite the mouth on you. You got quite the mouth on you. That I've started <laughs> trusting you. To me, you're still the enemy. I'll defeat you here and now if I must. Tien. What? Come you on, you Tien. You stand a chance against me. As a matter of do fact, I do. <laughs> he instructed me to return to the surface and further polish my technique cost, by sparring hopefully. with an even stronger opponent. And I can think of no better opponent than you. <laughs> Let me show you how strong I've become. Sounds good to me. I could use the entertainment. I'll See, this kind of stuff is awesome. This is implied cannon. Oh, hey, you fought Goku. Implied Goku filler, whatever. Didn't you? That's right. Bitch, I can substitute. I can't block that, but I can substitution. I guess I should start calling it after image. You can tell I'm a storm fan, huh? Ooh, that was a different one. All right, Tien, you asked for it. Let's do a cutscene combo. No? Ow. Stop it. You taste my beam now, bitch. Is this the. Yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, that's a medium range combo move. I love those. Get fucked. Uh oh, I'm still hitting him. Yeah, this is one of the, one of those moves that uh, it's kind of hard to miss with. Boom, and I destroyed the mountain too. I cool. think you've had enough. That was fun. Okay, so I can, uh, after a couple map battles, I'll fill out uh, the skill tree a little bit. You're better than I thought. At least you can dodge basic Krillin support blocks. only. All the other humans are. You can be Goku, Gohan, Piccolo, Vegeta, Future Trunks. So the five characters that are like in the Cell games and in the Broly movie. The five super characters, I mean. Sorry, Tien and Krillin. Hmm. Oh, uh, we little side quest. Okay. Oh yeah, Piccolo and Chaozu both can use telekinesis. Cool. That's right, because in Budokai Tenkaichi 3, or probably all of them, 
you have your uh, your two special moves. I don't know how to explain it. You don't use key, but you use that other meter that slowly goes up. And then telekinesis, you just freeze the opponent in front of you. Okay, so since this is a blue quest, I'm going to be a lot more liberal with my clicking of the X button through text. I appreciate all of the voice acting. There isn't one voice acted line that I don't like. It's just that there are hundreds of lines of voice acting and I value my time slightly. What, what's happening? How do you fire it? Why was it slow-mo? That was weird. Mo! Why are you so slow? Man, Mo's reputation. He is not a very fast fellow. Okay, I'll stop. Oh no! Okay. Enough! Uh, every time I'm gonna use Explosion Wave. Okay, you know, you little puppet. Let's go! Chaozu's first now. Good thing Tribeam and Dota and Ray keep missing. Okay, I'm gonna power up now. Oh, he got me. Okay, so whenever it's uh, multiple opponents on one, that's when this game gets really annoying. I just remembered uh, the Cyberman fight coming up soon. <sighs> the Cyberman fight's extremely annoying because there's always two or three of them buzzing around you. Enough. One of them's always shooting a projectile. Like, what the hell do I do? Okay, I know what to do. Bastards. Oh, it was waiting for me to lock on to the other one. That's what I was doing wrong, okay. I knew I was doing something wrong. There we go. Fuck you guys. You want to shoot energy beams? He did say telekinesis training. Well, I, this is not telekinesis. Just call it uh, key blast training because you guys are pissing me off now. You said telekine- Oh, that's what's happening. Chaozu tries to freeze me, and then the other one shoots me. Well, okay. It looks like I'm the asshole. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to kick your asses. What were you waiting for? Chaozu was right there. Get the fuck out of here, GN. Take off three of your eyes and... You can kiss the greenest part of my ass. There are greener parts of his ass? Boom. Got him. Well, that was an interesting blue quest. Anyways. Let's go check in on Gohan. Kulun. Crybaby Kun. One one Japanese episode, six or seven. They call it a uh, Piccolo's secret weapon. Gohan, the Crybaby Kun, or something like Crybaby Kun. I love seeing the differences. The Japanese episode titles are always, especially with Z, so much better. There's just like two sentences sometimes describing a whole act or two. Hey, it's Krillin. Sup, Krillin? Oh, I like a floating rock. Hey. Whoa, Piccolo. Hey, you're looking stronger than usual. Uh, yeah, I trained at Kami's place. So. Uh, oh, they uh, did their Kami training. How did? Confident. I can tell this won't go well for you. Was it in the cutscenes and I totally just forgot? I mean, I was killed by a demon clan member once before. <laughs> Pathetic. Guess Silly I'll just me. have to beat that fear out of you. Come at me. Where's your weighted you? shirt, Krillin? Get you off. should be wearing your blue shirt until you sense the Saiyans arrive and then you take it off. What the heck? You and I have fought each other 
Yeah, I noticed. You know what? I'm gonna skip the fort play today. You heard me. Let's go try hard mode. What's my other combo? I said try hard mode. What's the other combo? This one? Yeah, that one where I like jab forward at the end. Yeah, I need key, but instead of charging for key, I just want to keep punching him instead. Alright, there we go. Ooh. How about my beam? Right through the tree. Special tree cannon. Oh, there is a move. Big tree cannon. It's probably an English dub name for a move, but that's what Gotenks uses. Big tree cannon! It's like a little final flash, right? <laughs> Boom! Jab! Oh, I wanted to end it like that. Oh, I love this move. Oh yeah, I hardly ever get to use that move and actually works. Sorry, grass. Looks like I did some water bending and sucked all the water out of the grass. Hmm. Not bad. You actually held your own. Thanks, I guess. I held more than my own. Like Krillin's one of those. Training. He's probably one of those guys that has like yeah, I, the I biggest fucking ball sack. If you don't want to die a and he just never time, says it. You need to train more. Do that, and maybe I'll view you as more. Than Eighteen knows. Hey. Well, I'm a student of the great Master Roshi, just like Goku, which means I'm gonna get stronger. Just you wait. Fuck yeah, I love Krillin. Krillin's ancestor will be Usopp. Ooh, energy or is it the other way around? Incredible. Do 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 do. Move tree. Oh, I can't break that one. How about this one? Ha ha ha! Eco terrorism. What's up, Yamcha? Are you floating? Why are you floating? What the heck? I don't think he's supposed to be floating. <laughs> okay, so this is the last human we saw. Yajirobe, Tien, Chaozu, Krillin. That means you can really help me out. Let me try out some of my moves on you. Fight me. You're dumber than you look. <laughs> well, you're looking at the new and improved Yamcha, thanks to Kami. Huh. Is that so? Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, I Yamcha. Stronger than me now. But you know, I'm thinking I could even beat you now. You could beat Piccolo at baseball. <laughs> Fine. Probably Don't not. Blame me if you die. <laughs> Poor guy. It seems you know who I am. Of course I do. I was gonna say you you tie with Piccolo at being living in solitude, but no, nah, you have Quar. It's not that sad. Oh, Spirit Ball! Fuck that! That's pretty much what a uh, hero did to him. He got hit on the chin by Spirit Ball, and then he's like, "Okay, that's it," and he jumped at Yamcha and pretty much like one shot at him. Out of the ring. Just one kick. It's like, that's enough. Ba -ba -ba. Got him. Pew. Let's disrespect him now. Pew pew pew. <laughs> Did you just beat me with a shuriken? Bruh! That is not gnarly. Not spectacular. Tubular at all. That is bodacious, bro. I should be better than this. You're not too bright, are you? Did you just think I was sitting around doing nothing while you were training? Whoa, well, man. Chillax, brah. But it's never going to be enough to beat me. 
Oh man, maybe you're right. Huh. Don't feel I'm not too just bad. Right. You're still... But you're gonna need a different approach to your training. Uh, come on. Don't count me out just yet. I've got what it takes. You've got what it takes to die. Yeah, be alive. I better see how the little runt's doing. Hope he's tough enough. Yes, finally. Last time I saw him. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, go oh, on. Oh, there's a blue quest. Amazing. Another one. So Piccolo meets Yajirobe. Okay. I should check out Piccolo's skill tree soon. The fifth trainee. Okay. What do you want me to do, though? Because I know you're not going to fight. <sighs> Extra meal. So these two have absolutely nothing in common. Because all Yajirobe does is eat food. And Piccolo does not eat food. <laughs> They're all just thinking to themselves. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna go hunting for him. Okay. I guess both of them go hunting. Kinda. Time to waste. Oops. I always forget that button shoots me up into the clouds. Put go on as Mr. Piccolo catch six deer? Aw, oh, I thought it'd be a dinosaur. Honestly, though, like, in what way is this tough? Because I'm picturing Breath of the Wild where you gotta, like, sneak up on it or jump on the horse and then press A for the stamina. That'll do. Oh, now what? Where did you go? Oh, does it want me to do this? Is that him? That's an item. Where is he? Anyways, I honestly have no idea what the hell's going on. I don't know if he didn't load in, but I searched that whole circle 10 times over, and I keep getting spotted by enemies, and I'm about to just move on now. I heard there's a time machine later for quests that I missed, and I already missed two, because I wanted to beat Raditz quickly, right? So I didn't do the Nom and Aider side quests, but I'm just going to do those later. Meanwhile, You just talk to them and catch up anyway, it's like, I need this item. Let's go beat up these enemies. After what Snake like way. Forever, he finally reached his destination. Serpentine Road. Man, this is tough. Oh man, at this rate, it's gonna take me way longer than a year to get to King Kai's place. Imagine being dead and also hungry. Wait a sec. Like, you can't die, you're yes, just infinitely it. hungry. Made it to the end. Uh, wait. It's like, oh There's great. Let me just eat this cloud. Here. I guess. Good idea, Goku. Uh -huh. oh, Let's eat some sand. Can't die. That must be where King Kai is. Hell yeah! Now I can fly again! Yep, no mistake about it. Let's just get a little closer to it and... Aww. Uh, no, he slams into the ground. He does a belly flop. Because the time's 10 gravity. So according... Uh, I just googled it. But if a human experienced 4.5 to, to 5 times gravity, 
that would kill you because your blood wouldn't huh? circulate properly no. and Maybe you were too you're just not built for so five times gravity no. you would be like that meme where Yamcha tries the time chamber and he fucking gets crushed flat into the ground and he has to turn it off. Five. Good thing we can do like uh, the moon six times less gravity. That's way more fun anyway. I want to jump six times higher than normal. What's going on? What's wrong with you? Why are you even here? Yeah, what the heck, Goku? That was fucking hilarious. You don't like this guy's material? Get out of here. I can't train someone who doesn't have a sense of humor. Where's your funny bone? Goku used to have a sense of... Goku's sense of humor is, oh, this guy's snorkeling? I'm gonna pour boiling hot water from this kettle down directly into his fucking mouth and lungs. <laughs> Pure of heart. That's... I'll never get over that scene. A cow with no legs called ground beef. That's funny. Have a nice try. I guess I better telephone. I feel like King Kai would like that one. Oh, because I was fucking talking to myself. Uh, cow with no legs uh, is called ground beef. No, no, no. Again. Yeah, I was not paying attention. Uh, have a nice trip. See you next fall. <gasps> so, two guys walked into a bar. You think one of them would have ducked. Bum, bum. I will teach you the ultimate joke. Oh boy, now I know that I can't punch anything myself while I'm here, so this is just a couple more cutscenes and then guess the Saiyans will arrive. I think I do another one more thing with Gohan probably. I like this whole part of the story. Between Raditz and Nappa, it's all of the character who, who is this guy? gets built up, and then we Very well. have uh, I will train you. people saving people's lives and sacrificing their lives and showing up at he the last minute and all that stuff. Ken. And maybe even my greatest technique. This looks pretty. It's too bad you can never actually use the sword for anything. Even in the show, all he did was cut off a uh, stupid work alarm. All he did was cut off a T-Rex's uh, tail with it. Then he never used the sword again. And future Gohan, same thing. Future Gohan doesn't use a sword, but future Trunks does. Dangerous, so I need to be careful. Next time we get to see Gohan wearing all orange is the Bojack movie, right? And then when he's an adult wearing all orange, it's Ultimate Gohan. Yes, I noticed. So this is really, really easy to do when you can fly. But if you can't fly, you just... He runs at you. He doesn't even do damage. And then that's it. I can't cut the tail off. What the heck? Why would you kill that innocent dinosaur? What the fuck? I'm just kidding. You're the guy that left me here. The name's Piccolo. Don't forget it. Uncle Piccolo. Oh, look at this. It's Boruto and Sasuke training for the. He's not the same Piccolo my dad time ago, is he? Otsutsuki clan alien 
parasite Which aliens. You know just how terrifying I am, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I remember him saying something about Demon King Piccolo being a really bad guy. Oh, right. not every Get bad guy test, is a bad we? guy. First, you need to learn how to fly. Yeah, we can learn how to fly. And then once I once Gohan learns how to fly, he can actually be used in battle in this game because the base game doesn't have any ground battles until there you go. The, that wasn't a thing until the last two DLC updates, right? Number 5 and 6. You won't be so happy for long. I'm going to Which is just funny cuz I didn't even play this game at all until the DLC Don't with the ground battles, so anyways think about trying to whatever comes ahead. next i that. think i'm going to end this here and next time i'm sure we're gonna wrap up the training and then the saiba ben and napa are gonna appear right so what is this lady baba uh okay one more quick thing Oh, this is just beat up the robots. Okay, so this was this will be my first time using Gohan in a fight. This will be a good thing to end it on. Let's -a go. These guys are just harassing her. Maseko! Oh, what's this? What are you doing? Now. Okay, assist robot. I saw all those buffs you were giving him. Let's do a Masenko in slow mo. Masenk slow mo, and I missed. Oh, I got him. Usually, if they're veering slowly to the left, I completely miss. There we go. Thanks. Gohan looks really. Everyone who wears these colors look really good, but you know. Go on, looks fucking awesome. My heavens. Um, oh, oh, Anyways, I could sit here and do story time, but uh, this is when Baba -Ba meets Gohan, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. So you're a fortune smeller? Fortune teller. Yes. Classic. <laughs> and then what did Goku, what else did he say once? He said like, Tattle teller. Indeed. Fortune teller. Thank you so much. <laughs> the tattle teller. What? Uh, don't show me the future. That's going to be like, oh, look who dies in the next fight. Oh, look who survives. Look what the next arc is going to be about. <laughs> Fuck you. Do you want to see the first Super Saiyan? Stop it. Interesting. Yeah, so two orbs of darkness are approaching. Okay, it's the sands. Story complete. Isn't there a scene where in the filler Baba's like, not even I can tell the future because of the they're just so powerful. Like this show is literally if you're powerful you can't sense the future. The eternal dragon can't get rid of you as a threat. You're just simply too powerful. Didn't run home crying, huh? Um, Destructo sorry. disc. When Krillin shot it and it hit Cell's neck. Don't and it did zero HP and it didn't cut him or anything. Because he's do. just so strong. Perfect Cell. Yeah, I should have looked at Gohan's skill tree. I almost forgot. So I'm going to quickly do this and then we'll end it. Uh... Okay, Piccolo, that's it. I'm gonna throw hands. Just give me some key and... Nope. Oh, I stunned him. I thought he was gonna punch me, silly me. Alright, we're doing good. We don't even need a power up. We did our first two battles with Gohan. It's pretty cool.
Oh, I was gonna use a key move, but I don't fucking want to charge for the eighth time. Yeah, I think the sands are like right around the corner now, right? Or, uh. Do we just get a nice heart heartwarming moment? Where's the campfire? No longer the little crybaby you were six months ago. I can't believe it. They actually have campfires in this game, but they didn't hey, include that for this scene. I was wondering, you fought my dad a long time ago, right? I did, and I've still got a score to settle with him. Once the Saiyans are gone, your dad's next. <laughs> but you know, my dad told me something. He said. You're not like the old Piccolo. He said, you don't seem like such a bad guy. <laughs> Adorable. This is one of my favorite my moments. Right. Even though my mom and grandpa are still scared of you. You'd better shut up, kid. Just shut your mouth and try to get some sleep. Oh. I'm gonna put you through hell tomorrow. And in the dub, he's like... Uh, okay. You're kind of like my big green uncle. Urgh, big green uncle. <laughs> Stupid kid. <laughs> All right, ready when you are, King Kai. Now, let's see you form a spirit bomb and use it to destroy this extra fast whip. Okay, so we never once ever see King Kai in combat or throw an attack, but he can make that brick and he can throw it super fast. Wow! I, I can't believe it! Well done, Goku! Thanks, it wasn't easy. Thanks, it was super easy. The spirit bomb is formed by gathering energy from everything around you and concentrating it into a ball. It's incredibly powerful. Screw it up and you'll blow the very planet you're trying to protect to pieces. And that's why you should only use I it just realized that and only once for that Namek is going to have so much cutscenes towards especially well, towards the to end. Go through the entire training regimen. I love the uh, purple, violet, pink background. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is when the Saiyans appear, so I'd love this to be the cliffhanger. Remember this. You eat. Don't forget it, kid. We're gonna train That's every enough. day. Unless you want to die, you have to get stronger. Stronger than me, and stronger than the Saiyans. I know. Less complaining. <gasps> Oh, maybe there's a couple more training. Okay, well. <laughs> we'll eat for now. Yeah, there's a couple more things to do, so uh, I'm going to leave it here. Hope everyone enjoyed. Hope to see you guys on the next Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Catch you guys on the flippity-flop.